I am Game Guy, Master of Explosives. It's time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I should probably switch to this boomerang. Quite honestly, might be more useful. Welcome, your pretty little head, to Eastern Palace. It is a place that is to the east. I can't go that way. It's a sad day in the world of Eastern Town. Oh, can't go that way either. Well, probably should have gone the obvious direction. Ah, uh, there's a button under the pot. Silly me. Silly me. These little squiggly things are pretty weak. You can just slash them away. It's, it's fine. I mean, yeah, it's just... It's not a thing to worry about. Oh, and someone is bowling. I'm gonna have to, uh, weave my way through the bowling ball alley. That just seems like the thing to be on the lookout for these days. There's a nice treasure chest up here. It's got a hundred rupees in it. We're gonna be just rolling in some dough. I can jump back down there, but who wants to deal with the bowling alley? I sure do not. Uh, sometimes a giant metallic ball will come out of here and cover the entire alleyway. Sometimes it does. Oh, there it is. See? That's why there's those little alcoves you can hide in on the side. I'm gonna head over here. There's there's a nice doorway and a button. Just, just look at the statue. Just, just look at that statue. He, he's, he's cool. <laughs> he exists. Skeletons! Bane of my existence. You swing, they jump away. This is where the boomerang comes in real handy. Boomerang actually straight up does damage to these guys, which is odd considering that most enemies do not take damage to the boomerang. These guys, they do. It takes four hits to kill them with it though, but I mean, if it's a guaranteed method of killing them, I will accept. This guy is an anti-fairy. He's not a bro. Nobody likes the anti-fairy. He's, he's bad. You, you don't, they don't call him an anti-fairy for nothing, you know, that typically has some sort of meaning. Got ourselves a map of the dungeon. Finally, I can see the layout. This place is pretty hefty in comparison to before. I mean, I guess it's more compact than hefty, because, like, Hyrule Castle wasn't really that small, I guess, but wasn't really that large either. See, I can grab stuff from afar. It's a good ability. Can I hit you from down here? No, we're on a different plane of existence. It just doesn't work that way. Unfortunate, but true. Uh, oop, I missed. But it's fine. It is fine. Oh, oh this looks like a death trap. It's oh, no! There are skeletons afoot. If you slash enough, you can just keep hitting them. Actually, throwing pots... Probably one of the best ways to kill a skeleton I have found. Through all of my years of research, <laughs> it's just a thing I've found. Yo, I got myself a compass. This compass has a new feature. It'll point out where the boss is, um, and nothing else. I mean, it, it's kind of a useful ability of sorts. Ah, you can talk to me telepathically when you touch these tiles. I don't know how this tile came to be here. But sure, I can use the treasure hidden here to defeat armored foes, you say. Well, golly, I wonder where the treasure... Where could it be? I don't know. But, uh, it doesn't look like I can go upward. Looks like I can only go this way. That's a fancy little green statue over there. Looking ultra fancy. That's better than regular fancy, if you ask me nicely. But only if you ask me nicely. Uh, it seems we've got a chase sequence here. Uh, not the best of times. I need a key. Keys are important to have. Thankfully, this doorway opened up. There's probably a key hidden in the darkness here. Somewhere in the world resides a key. If only I could find it under that pot conveniently. It sounds like a good time to me if you ask me. Yeah, it is. This is just redundant sentence city over here. It's just, it's a fun time. Those anti-fairies are having fun, clearly. And we're back here. Going over the bridge, leading over the bowling alley, heading our way to the west, actually. I, I, it's, it's Eastern Palace, that's why you gotta go west, you know. It's just it's the only thing to do. These anti-fairies really like this pot over here, but uh... 
I mean, I guess I'll just have to figure out a way to get rid of them. But first, I have a vendetta against all skeletons in the universe. Chasing this guy all the way around the room. Seemed like the thing to do at the time. Can I just throw pots at you? No. Can I just... Oh, no! That dude woke up. He doesn't like pots. <laughs> Turns out that the statues can come alive. Who knew? In this day and age, I found myself a big key. It opens doors that small keys do not. Like that one there, perchance. These uh, inconvenient blocks shall inconvenience me for not a very long time. But I figured it out. Now, if I tried to open this treasure chest without the big key, it wouldn't work. Instead, I had to wait until now to find the bow. I can shoot arrows until I run out. Ah! Ah! It was a trap all along! Ah! Why would there be traps in a dungeon that just seems like a thing that you don't want to do? I am in peril. I'm gonna jump down this thing. It seems like the safe thing to do, personally. Ah, there's some nice, nice fairies down here. Yeah. The bow! A fantastic item, to say the least. If you ever wanted yourself a nice range attack that does the same damage as your spin attacks, well, <laughs> you certainly found it here. You get 30 shots, like, at full, and, uh, man, not a bad deal. Uh, you can only have one arrow on screen at a time, however, and there's a slight delay to actually shoot the arrow, but, I mean, you really can't go wrong shooting arrows at stuff. It kills quite a few things. Pretty handy weapon to have, even at this point in time, I gotta say. See these guys here? Nothing. They stand no chance to the bow. The power that is bow. This room is dark, but thankfully, we got ourselves a light. Finally, we are able to see what this room is about. That guy had a key and it was not okay with me. Just, it's just not. All right, you just, aren't allowed to do these sorts of things. Just, just saying, just not allowed. Oh man, this is just a free money room. Uh, it's worth mentioning, I don't recall if I got hit by any of these guys yet. Uh, if you get hit by these guys, they will also drain your magic in addition to doing damage, so uh, ideally not something you want to have happen, especially considering I really, I don't think I've ever had maximum magic. Like, that bar fills up all the way. The green bar that you see over there. Ow. You see my magic went down? Not a good time. Should probably avoid that, if at all possible. Um, these guys actually do constant damage in the sense that... Uh, you have, like, invincibility frames when you get hit, but... Um, they will still drain your magic if uh, you are within their hitbox. Seems to be some buttons on the ground, but none of them seem to work, except for this one. <laughs> that one indeed. Well, we I was avoiding the bowling alley, but uh, turns out we are here anyway. This, this is not how bowling alleys should operate. Just saying, that guy is red. Bo will just go ahead and kill all skeletons. Mr. Watch agrees, but should still shut up. Hey there, guy. Oh, you don't like pots? Do you like bows? Two shots to kill a dude. Now watch this. This is really cool. I love this. This is really neat. Bam! All of them are dead. I can't believe how completely dead they are. Look how dead they are. Man, I'm just so skilled at this game. Just, you see? You see that? Did you see my skills? My raw skills? Mr. Weird bug thing on the wall? Did you see my skills? Answer me! He didn't see my skills, I'm pretty sure. He's just, he's ignoring me. Oh, okay, we got ourselves some statues. That's... Oh, yep, I had a feeling. I had a feeling they'd be coming to life. These guys, the Armos Knights. Gotta shoot them with a bow. You can use your sword if you run out of arrows. But uh, these guys only take three hits each. Just gotta make sure you don't miss. Is uh, that's kind of an issue. Um, but, oh, jeez. That last guy gets really angry and his health resets to three. It's a scary time, but we took care of it. It's fine. I mean, if you wanted to kill him with your sword, it just would have taken an eternity. <laughs> I forget how many hits it is with the sword, actually. I want to say it's like somewhere in the 40s. It's kind of ridiculous, but I got the Pendant of Courage. Take it to... S 
it's just a bunch of S's in a row. Oh, thanks for your magic refill. That was awful nice of you. Can't believe you would be so kind. Well, got ourselves a nice little bow and arrow system going on here. Seems like, uh, you know, the the prize to get. But, uh, obviously we, uh, gotta go talk to this guy. Now we gotta, we got our courage pendant. Ah, you could have told me more of the legend before, but you decided not to. Three or four generations ago, there was knights that protected a bunch of dudes. They were guardians of the Pendant of Courage, and uh, most of them were destroyed. Not killed, just straight up destroyed. Like, that's such a harsh word to use, guy. The Grandpa. Uh, well, that's, that's just unfortunate. Uh, I... Yes, you must believe me. I should get the remaining pendants. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. It's a, it's a boot. D th thank you for some shoes. That's it's. Listen, guy. I gotta. I gotta say, you gave me some shoes. It's not very exciting. It's not very exciting. Whoa! I am fast. The Pegasus boots are great! <laughs> I don't think I have to spell this out. Pegasus boots allow you to just dash at high speed for a small little charge up time. Holding your sword out, you'll just freaking knock dudes out of your way. Provided the sword hits, obviously. It's really interesting how they decided to actually just straight up give you this speedy item right off the bat almost. It is just very helpful in the long run. You can slam into stuff and knock things down, and some of these cracked walls are weak enough, you can just ram right into them without needing to use bombs. It's a great time, and a great item to have within my arsenal of items that already exist. You're going to be seeing me dash all over the place. It is a fun time. Worth noting, obviously, uh, dashes will only do, like, the, the swing damage, so, like, they don't do a lot of damage, but they don't really have to, to be fair. It's not really a big problem, gotta say. It's just not. Remember this guard and how he exists? Well, I can just shoot him, shoot him with a bow. There's that delayed startup time, kind of ruining my face, but it's fine. Just a bunch of statues down here, and a bunch of, uh strange formations in the ground. Got ourselves a, uh... Oh, it's a fairy pond. That's nice. That's nice. You know, it occurs to me, uh, while I was in the village, there was a... There's that kid asking about a bottle. <laughs> Probably should have talked to him at some point. That, that might have been a wise decision. Uh, out of curiosity. Yeah, okay. Alright, my map has been filled out with some locations that we can possibly check. One is on top of a mountain, so I have a feeling I'm not gonna go there, but uh, probably make our way back to the village, I have to say. Now that we've got ourselves some speed shoes, it should be no problem, I think. I think it is a fine time. Dashing up against like these slanted walls is real nice, because you just kind of go along them. It's, it's really good. Ah, uh, going to the castle. Oh, 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 okay, I am not gonna be able to get past the giant boulder. It's, it's a sad state of affairs. It's fine, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Ha! Ah, take that! My shield! Finally having a use! Something with the, the boots, actually. You can dash and then, like, change direction while your dash is still charging. It's a pretty useful maneuver, all things considered. Uh, one that I would recommend keeping an eye on. We got ourselves a dead end. I love dead ends. They are my favorite. I visit them often. It's in this hole. Nothing. Probably nothing. More water. I just keep getting my feet wet and I can't stop. Hello. You look magical. Ah. Magical pixie dust was necessary to heal my wounds. Yeah, sometimes you'll just find big fairies hanging out. 
He'll, uh, he'll heal you and whatnot. It's a pretty good time. Pretty good deal, gotta say. Oh, we found ourselves in the graveyard. It is, in fact, a graveyard. Actually, while I'm in this vicinity, I can just kill this guard and realize, no, I can't actually do that thing I was about to do. It's a sad day, to be sure. I am gonna go up here, actually. One thing with the boots. Pegasus boots. You got these rocks here. You see a formation of rocks like this? You can actually slam into them and break them. It's a pretty nice time. You can find some neat treasures by doing that, such as another piece of heart. We got four, so that means a new heart container for us. Finally doubling what we started with. Gotta say, feels good. It's a, it's a good time. The more hearts you get, the safer you feel in general. I mean, that's just kind of the typical video game thing where, you know, you just kind of are, are able to do the things. I need to remember whose house I need to go to. Hey there, guy. I am fast now, but not fast enough, unfortunately. It's, it's fine. Can I catch you? I want to catch you. Now that I'm fast, I should be able to catch you. I just gotta reload the area. Reload the area and go! I gotcha! I sure did! Yep, I kidnapped Zelda! No, wait, no I didn't, I didn't, no! No, I didn't! I promise! I didn't do it! Why does nobody believe me? Gosh, do you not know the difference between rescue and kidnap? There is a difference, man. Oh, you're sick! Oh, That's unfortunate, Sniff Sniff. Ah, yes, the bug net. I did it, finally. Bug net is pretty nice. You know, you just swing it around, catch yourself some bugs. You know, remember how I said you can put bugs into bottles? You know, just if you run into some sort of insect hanging out, you can just, just swing the net around, catch it, and put it in that bottle. It can be very helpful. Especially if said insect is a magical fairy. You know, could be useful, I think. Doesn't really do much else, but, uh... I mean, it doesn't have to. Not all items have to have, like, grandiose uses in, uh, in their life. It just... It, oh, okay, I'm not going that way, turns out. Let's actually... Uh, let's go finish today's episode. Taking a look at the Lost Woods. I think that's a good time. Because, I mean, you know, look at this map. There's... You got those two pendants there, but you got this real enticing looking thing over here in the corner. We'd heard about a sword, man. There's a sword to be found here in the Lost Woods. There's a sword, there's a guy too, and landmines under bushes. <gasps> I found the sword! I did it! No, that's not the sword. Turns out, not the sword. Here, you, you can have it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, oh, there's a bird. Let's hide in this log. Ah, yes. Animals run free. That sure was words, probably. Well, we found our uh, objective with no way to get it. Suppose next time we're gonna work towards getting it. See you later and goodbye.